Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're looking at the newest five star unit. Vania, Vampy, Core, whatever you want to call her. She's the newest five star. I wanted to give my opinion on her. I just did a normal video on the last video because one, I, I was slamming her until like 7 a.m. and uh, I was tired and I didn't want to talk. So today we'll be doing a proper video on this unit. Hopefully we can come to a conclusion. Is Vampy a uh, core? <laughs> That's the question. Is she core? Now, upon getting five stars, you gained a quite a little bit of new things. One thing she does gain is a new specialty weapon. Excuse me. Uh, she gains a dagger, specialty dagger. So that gives her more options to go when teams where you want to run ultimate dagger with like her brother, Vate, Eustace, characters like that. She gains a lot of options. Now, not only being staff, she gains dagger. Really good, really good. Another thing she gains is a new Ogi ability. She gains vampire stacks or vampire drops, whatever you want to call them. These are pretty much ripped from the SR vampy. If you ever used the SR vampy, this is just ripped from her. But she does gain one unique thing on top of that is that she gains bonus damage against foes um ogi bonus ogi damage versus foes with charm so if the opponent has charm she gains not only charge attack damage now she also gains charge attack damage cap uh damage being 50 cap being 30 percent which is really good really good it helps her hit a little bit harder uh, harder on her ogi and you know more damage can't complain right with her skill one testament she gains a new ability because she had the vampire stacks or the vampire drops now if you have a vampire drop if you activate testament she gains dark defense down which is really good it's 25 percent defense down so you can cap defense down really easy with mist it still does the remove one buff which is pretty cool I do have some complaints about it, but I'll talk a little bit more about it when it comes to her passive skills. But Testament does see a change. Scarlet Gift has no change. It's the exact same skill as before. So unfortunately, we have nothing to talk about. But on her last skill, Charm Throb, um, this skill is peculiar. It gained quite a change from the original version. Before, it would inflict charm and she would gain an attack, defense, double attack, and triple attack boost. Now, she gains attack, defense, and deals multi-attacks. That is completely different. Dealing multi-attacks means she has a guaranteed chance of a TA or DA. She will no longer single attack as long as this buff is on. Not to mention, she gains drain. This is counterproductive for Magnet users. I feel you, bro. If you got your Celeste Claws and you're ready to Zoe everything and you hit her skill three and see back at 100% health after one auto, I feel you, bro. I feel you. Because that's how it's going to happen. So it's good for Stamina Hades, but it's not good everywhere. So keep that in mind when using her that she does have Drain on her skill three. Now, as I mentioned with the Vampire Drops, she do gain a new ability if it's consumed upon using skill three. That being, she gains a boost to charm effect success rate, which is pretty okay. I don't think it's that great, but if you're in a longer fight, that can make or break because if you didn't know in this game, bosses have debuff tolerance. So over time, applying debuffs are a lot harder, especially, well, especially core debuffs like charm blind stuff like that those are paralyzed those because i guess it's called status elements and i guess debuffs would be like attack and defense so applying status elements on enemies becomes a lot harder over time not to mention that she also gains a new buff called blood queen blood queen being an attack and defense buff with a little special kink to it it now deals uh nuke or damage 
or a damage attack at the end of each turn. This lasts for three turns. And one more thing, she gains guaranteed triple attacks. So it's an upgrade from her guaranteed multi attacks. Now she will always do a triple attack for three turns, which is really good. It does a lot. You get a nuke, guaranteed triple attacks, and increased hit rate on charm. And that goes really well with her Ogi because she has guaranteed triple attacks. She's gonna most likely Ogi really fast, which is really, really good. Now, this is where I kind of have to talk about I don't like it too much. So, you can see that she gained a new support skill called Queen's Charge 2. Now, at the start of a battle, she starts with one Vampire drop. This is my problem with her. With using Vampire, you have to pick between two skills. Now, if Vampire is your core defense down unit, you're already at a, a hard place right now because you have to pick between either capping the fence down or using her skill three to get her started, to get her multi-attack so that she can Ogi so that you will have stacks to use skill one. So already right there, it's kind of hard. Not to mention uh, her cooldowns are pretty hefty. So her cooldown being eight turns on charm or charm throb makes it kind of hard to spam it. So keep that in mind, if you were to, let's say you skill one as a defense down unit, you you have to wait until she Ogies the charm throb. Or if you don't charm, if you don't wait, then you have to wait even longer for her cooldown to be up again. So it's really hard if you're using her as your main defense down unit. Uh, yeah, your main defense down unit. And if that's the problem, if that's the case, then already the, her one of her her major buffs didn't really come to help you much. Not to mention, there's another thing about her passive. When Vania has Vampire drops, bonus damage effect boost to attack specs based on number of drops. So just like the SR, she gains bonus damage if she has drops on her. But as I mentioned, you kind of want to use her skills. They do have a long cooldown, so you won't be having, let's say, a hard time in a longer fight, but getting to that point is kind of hard if you're using her as a defense down unit because you have to first use defense down, then you got to wait till you Ogi, then you charm throb, and now you have one. So it takes a little bit of time. She doesn't start really fast. If you're using her as a tough damage dealer and you just use a charm throb, you start with charm throb and you get the 100% the, the multi tax and the 100% uh, TA. So you get to her Ogi a little bit faster. Not to mention that her skill two does give you charge bar, 20%, I believe. So it's not that bad, but I do want to note that effect about her that it's a little bit wonky if you're using her as a defense down unit. And if you're not using her as a defense down unit, then you're not really taking advantage of everything she can do. So now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I asked, is Vampy core? Cause I know a lot of people are answering this question, asking this question because he's a popular character and no, she's not core. The reason I say she's not core is because she's a jack of all trades. She does, she does a lot. She can defense down, charm, dispel. She does quite a, a bit of things, not to mention she has her own drain skill. But at the end of the day, she's just an attacker. Uh, attacker with jack of, uh, jack of all trades. You can look at her kind of similar to BK, another one, Black Knight. Black Knight also is a jack of all trades, but also an attacker. Nara Maya is another example of a jack of all trades. She does a lot, but she's an attacker. A lot of dark units, they're just attackers, to be honest. So while they do a lot of stuff, they're, none of them are going to compare to six. So at the end of the day, six is already like takes a slot in dark nine times out of 10. So unless your unit is doing some crazy buffs, it's kind of hard to compete against that unit. Now, if your unit is a heavy buffer that can buff your whole team, it's a little bit different. But Vampy doesn't do that. She doesn't really buff the team at all. So because of that, she's a very selfish unit. And because of that, I don't think she's a core unit. Sorry to tell people, 
I know you probably didn't want to hear it, but no, Vampy is not core. It hurts. It hurts me too. But that's my opinion on her. Do tell me in the comments how you feel about her. I know some people are going to be butt hurt because she's not Korra. That's, that's my opinion of her. Um, if I had to rate her a number, probably like a 9. If for her to become like a 9.5, she would have to have like... First of all, she's got to give some party buff. I, I don't... Dark is so selfish. Like these units in Dark, they are all about themselves, bro. They don't care about no one else but themselves. That's one thing I don't like about Dark. So if she was to give like a party buff, like if Charm Throb was like to the team, that'd be nice. It's, I don't think it would it be, I don't think it would be overpowered, but, but I think that would be nice. Her critical hit rate could be to the team too. There's a lot of things she, she can do to the team other than just being a very selfish unit. Uh, also her drop starting at one will have to jump up to two. That would probably bump her up to 9.5 in my opinion. But for right now, I'll probably put her at a nine. Hopefully you guys can see where I'm coming from. Just leave in the comments how you feel about it. I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. I will not be doing a gameplay part of this because I already done a, ga a gameplay video earlier. So in case people are wondering, but so I want to give my opinion on her and talk about her and do tell me how you guys feel. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.